I'm going over here to Jennifer, and Jennifer, hey, you know, you're talking international. We just started out with Italy, but now we're talking about international. And tell me what you're doing at your uh, center. And I know that you have a big event coming up in November, so we want to talk about that as well. So tell us a little bit. Great, thank you so much for the opportunity. It's so exciting to be here with you. Um, the International Center was founded actually in 1956. I know. So it's a very long tradition of capital region people welcoming visitors from all over the world. So in the beginning, their mission was really to welcome immigrants and refugees. And then in the 1990s and 2000s, we switched our mission to more the larger scale. Are, are you doing anything with, with immigration? I mean, the issues with, uh, that is coming up with um, the Ukraine and, uh, you know, the horrors that are going on. These people need a place to go, and we are accepting some here. Are you involved at all with that or with the Ukraine? Uh, so we do partner with the USCRI, the okay. U.S. Committee for Refugee and Immigrants. Okay. They're very active here, which is also why we don't want to step on the areas that other organizations Yeah, you don't want to duplicate. On. Exactly. Yeah. And also RISE in Albany, they do a lot of work with refugees and immigrants, so we help each other, we help each other find volunteers, we work together. But for our center, our focus is actually cultural exchange. So we get professional um, visitors to come and do professional exchanges. Okay. So these are folks who've been identified by various embassies in other countries, by the State Department, and through the program called IVLP, it's International Visitor Leadership Program. IVLP, okay. Yes, and they've been coming here since the 2000s, and we've had visitors from Ukraine, we've had visitors from Russia, um, and then another program through Open World is another government-funded program, and that one is specifically focused on the post-USSR countries. In May, we'll be having legislative staffers coming from Moldova, and oh, they'll okay. be giving wow. us like the first-hand information of Th what's this happening This is a in wonderful, uh, it, it brings unity in, to, the, to the community. Uh, to you know because we don't know about certain countries you know but, but finally you meet somebody from that country and you find out hey they're just like us you know we're exactly. the same people and there were so many differences but there's so much that we have in common yeah and I understood I was very surprised that I heard that New York has the largest Ukraine is the latest and Afghan communities in the United States that's right I was surprised of it that's right, yeah. We're, we're a welcoming community, and I'm very proud to say that in this area, everybody has been wonderful in terms of reaching out to help people in Ukraine and also embracing the refugees who have been coming right. from Afghanistan. Yeah. So that's definitely I mean, it's, one of it's the been a, it's bright a spots. tragic thing, I mean, that people are, are living in, in countries where, I mean, your house is gone tomorrow, you know, and I, I, I talked to somebody and they said, I don't know why they just don't go back and it's and and, and uh, rebuild. It's like <laughs> what? there's nothing there to rebuild. Well, the other thing we're trying to bring more light to is the contributions of these immigrants oh my gosh, and yeah. the refugees. They're bringing to our all their area. skills with them. Absolutely, and that's also why, as you mentioned, in the November we're having in November, we're honoring the Im Im immigrant experience. So the idea is that we want to give achievement awards to folks in different areas, whether it's community service, business entrepreneurship, philanthropy, um, civic engagement, and career advancement, so that we recognize the immigrants who have made significant contributions to our area. Exactly. Now, I know um, I've been involved with the Chinese Community Center, there's the Italian Community Center, there's the German American Club, there's yes. the Polish American. Do you work with any of those, or do they do. come to you rather, you know, with you know, questions or anything? We do. So personally, I just started as executive director yeah. late last year. But you've been so with still, them a while, haven't you? Have I've you? been with them since June as yeah, a okay. director yeah. of communication. So I'm still relatively new to the role. Okay. And I, although I do have connections in the capital region through other activities I've been a part of, but I'm still reaching out to many of oh, these Oh, okay. So you're in your centers. fledgling. You're yes, fledgling, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we've already forged some wonderful relationships and we're looking forward to being a platform so that these cultural centers can really interact and talk with each other because I know for myself as, as I'm also on the board and the Chinese Community mm -hmm. Center that we do a lot of events 
for the Chinese community. But we don't always necessarily know what some of the other immigrant communities exactly. are doing. And I think it'll be great as the international center to bring these centers together, have some chats, you know, best practices, and talk about issues that really affect all of us. And your missions are really the same. Exactly. And so mm -hmm. why not share that with it? And I know that uh, Professor DeNovo from the uh, Italian mm -hmm. Community Center has yes. tried to reach out to other centers as well yes. to kind of keep that you know um, communi communication going. Absolutely. The word so we're, we're working on it. Yeah and yeah. no I think you're going to do a great job. You certainly have a, a history to work with. First of all there's an institution that's been around. You didn't have to de de develop it right from the get-go. Right. So you have that and, and I think the idea of trying to work with and you work with the embassies is that what you're saying as well some we of the work with the state department the state department yep, and also the national umbrella com or umbrella organization called global ties they are a okay. funding organization so that's where we get the program funding for the professional exchanges but for programs that we do locally like the achievement awards those we have to fundraise locally here and, and how do you raise your money so we do have opportunities for corporate sponsorships, and then we also have opportunities for event sponsorships. And how do how do people find out about that they so can that go uh, to our you website. know so that they can get involved? Absolutely, we welcome you know anybody with skills, time, volunteering. Mm -hmm. We're always needing volunteers, sponsorships. Our website, I think it will be. Yep, on the, we've been putting that up as well. On the video, so visit on there and just click on get involved, and under that there's a multitude of ways to get involved yeah. with us. Well, we hope that people will uh, take advantage of supporting such a wonderful mission that you have. We are a world community, and no matter how much we think that we're isolated, we're not isolated. We are with everyone else. I Absolutely. Mean, yeah, and we're all working together to, to make a better life for everyone. Exactly, you know, and, and that's the part that I enjoy about being in this position is that we really empower people to become citizen diplomats, yeah. right? So we have the opportunity to allow just everyday people like you and me to meet people from Moldova. Yeah. Um, when the, during today, actually, well, by the time that the show is airing, right now we have filmmakers from Senegal meeting with various Wonderful. organizations in this area because we are a hub for filmmaking. Uh, in the country. Well, it's interesting because uh, Kevin Hickey uh, from the Albany College of Pharmacy, yes. you, do you know him? And do. he does he's the African film. Our, yeah, he does the African yeah. Films Festival, and exactly. it's going on right now, I believe. That's right. It was last yeah. night, so yeah. yeah. See, I mean, look at, yeah. look, we picked up on that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. So I, it's just a wonderful community, very grateful for having the volunteers and the support from various organizations, and we just look forward to doing more. Good. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. And please come in in November to talk more about what's to. happening with the um, awards that you're giving. Because I would love to give, you know, a big shout out to the people that have done, have com c given so much to our community. Wonderful. Thank you so I'd much. love to do that. And, and try one of those Italian cookies. I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> thank We're, you thank so you. much.